Welcome to CNN Cougar National News. My name is Peyton Baker and today is June 18, 1976. We have breaking news coming to you from the Doyle vs. Ohio criminal case. Yesterday, on June 17, 1976, the case was finally wrapped up. It all began on February 23, 1976 in Tuscarawas County, Ohio. Jefferson Doyle and Richard, Wor Richard Wood were caught selling 10 pounds of marijuana. The police read them their Miranda rights and they chose to remain silent. Then in court, they claimed that they did not actually sell the marijuana and somebody else did. But because of the angle of the cop card, there was no evidence to prove that. The jury asked the two men why they did not reveal this information at the time of the arrest and they say it's because they chose to exercise their right to remain silent. Mr. Justice Powell delivered the opinion of the court, James Willis was the lawyer for the petitioner, and Ronald Collins was the lawyer for the respondent. Now, we're flipping over to Nick Anderson to continue the story. Oh, we're live. Hi, I'm Nick Anderson, and behind these doors is the court case of Doyle versus Ohio, where the defendants Doyle and Wood are being on trial for marijuana. This court case has set a huge precedent in the U.S. legal system. Now, because of this case, remaining silent cannot be used against you in the court. That by remaining silent, you are not automatically assumed guilty by the court system. There are nine justices that are serving on the bench during this case, and they are as follows. Okay, we got Berger, Howell, Blackman, Brennan, Stevens, Marshall, White, Stewart, and Rehnquist. Now we're going to go over to the attorneys of the Doyle versus Ohio case. So in a few moments here I'll be interviewing the attorney from the Doyle versus Ohio case. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to be here. No, because we don't want to turn around. This is for a long time. This is for a long time. How are you doing, sir? I'm Christian with CNN. Good, how are you? I'm the attorney for Doyle Wood. Okay, so if you don't mind, I'll be asking you a couple of questions. <clears throat> Do you feel like the ruling of this case deals with any suspicion you can make? Yes, sir. Which one? And why do you think it involves the Fifth Amendment? Because this case violates the Fifth Amendment, which guarantees the right to remain silent, and you don't have to answer any questions. Also, another question we have for you today will be, does the ruling of the case do with any specific race or ethnic group? No. And why not? Because it's a deal with race or ethnic groups. It deals with... Research warrant. And what else? In the violation of your Fifth Amendment. Do you have for you today? Do you want to get coffee? Uh, sure. 